Hey, what's going on? Claudio Zavala Jr. here. Good to have you back once again. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about organization, being digitally organized on your mobile phones. So let me ask you a question. Do you have lots of photos and videos on your phone? Have you ever found yourself looking for that one specific photo or video to share with someone? Chances are you have hundreds, probably even thousands of photos on your mobile phone, making it hard to find just that one photo or moment to share. Not just that, but it's probably eating up a lot of your storage space on your phone. So today I'm going to share with you a few tips that hopefully will be helpful for you to free up some space or just get a little more, like I mentioned, digitally organized on your mobile phone. Now I'm going to be doing this on my iPhone, but I'm pretty sure you can replicate these steps on any mobile device. Some of you out there might be old enough to remember keeping a binder or a photo album with all of your clippings, your pictures, and maybe even some of your uh, school shots. One of the things that I do to keep my photos and videos organized on my phone is to create albums similar to the uh, booklet photo albums that we used to use. Keeping everything in albums allows me to easily locate photos that I want to share with friends or family. I'm also able to find videos quickly that I want to share on social media. So let me show you what I do here on the phone. So let's go ahead and take a look here is launch the photos app, whichever photos app is native to your device. And in my case at the bottom, we have different options or icons. I'm going to use the albums icon and in the upper left corner, there is a plus sign and that will allow me to create a new album as well as shared albums, but that's for another time in another place. So let me choose new album and I'm going to name this my California. Thank you for the autocorrect there. California Christmas, because we took a trip there for Christmas to see family and choose save here. And one of the nice things that uh, my iPhone does and many phones will do is organize items by date or locations. In this case, I'm just kind of scroll through here. So I see San Diego because that's where I visited. We went to Universal Studios as well and uh, different locations during our trip. So now what I can do here is just either select the locations or I can go through and select individual photos here and so on. I'm going to go here and just kind of do a random check here and then choose done and I easily created an album so the next time I want to share photos from my California trip I can easily just tap on the California uh, Christmas album and locate the videos or photos and share them from there so that's one way to stay organized creating albums I'll create albums for trips conferences and whatever photos and videos I took there I'll go ahead and drop them into those albums and that way I can easily share them just by locating the albums. So that's my first tip for you. Now, keeping your photos and videos on your phone is great, but just be aware that it will start to eat up some of your storage memories. You'll most likely get a message that says, cannot back up this device or not enough memory to back this up. And what happens is if you're in my case, using iCloud to back up your phone, you're going to run out of space. Most of the time, the culprit is going to be your photos app videos. Photos are going to start eating up your memory. And at some point you may not be able to even take any more photos. So what can you do to clear up some space? Well, first the obvious easiest thing to do is start deleting photos and videos. Okay. I know that can be scary for many of you. You may have photos that are maybe five years old, but don't worry. There's a way to keep those safe and make room on your phone. So another option other than deleting is to use some sort of cloud storage for your photos and videos. If you're an Amazon prime member, guess what? You have unlimited storage space for your photos. You know how much it costs free. That's right free. Well, I guess it's not free because you already pay for Amazon prime membership for your videos and free shipping. But 
I, I guess it's an added benefit. You also get five gigabytes of storage for videos and documents, but be aware that 4K videos are larger file sizes and will use up a lot of that space. But in the case of photos, I highly recommend using Amazon Photos. I'm not getting paid to say any of this. I use it all the time. It's one of my main backups for all my photos. Again, it's unlimited and it doesn't change the size of your photos, which I do like. And it's pretty easy to do. So let me show you how to do this. You'll first need to download the Amazon Photos app and here's what you'll do. So after you download Amazon Photos, I'm gonna turn that on. And as you can see, I already have some photos in here from previous times. So what you'll want to do is in the lower right corner, there is an icon that says more. You'll tap there and you'll see that it says upload photos and videos. Now, like I mentioned, it's unlimited for photos. So right now I'm just going to upload photos and not worry about videos. Now, one of the things, as I mentioned before, creating albums is great because Amazon photos will look at them as collections. So if you want to upload images from a certain album, you can locate that album, tap those images, and then choose upload. And depending on how fast your network access is, it may take a little bit of time or a little bit longer. My recommendation is to use Wi-Fi network to do this. Otherwise, it's going to eat up your cellular limit unless you're on unlimited. So we'll kind of let this go through here. Now my upload is complete. Those nine photos are now backed up to my Amazon Photos uh, cloud service so I can go ahead and delete them from my photos app freeing up space for my mobile phone Another app that you can use to free up space on your mobile phone is the Google photos app It also offers unlimited storage for photos and video However, uh, there is a caveat. It will do it at a reduced size It'll still be a quality photo and quality video, but reducing the size so if you want to high res and you want the original quality then uh, you're going to have to choose the higher resolution option and uh, it will be limited space so if you want extra space then that's where the cost comes in you have to pay a little more to add some more space in google photos so how do you save to google photos let me show you okay so let's head on over to the google photos app and immediately you'll see all of the photos that you have on your mobile device and there's a little icon that shows a cloud and what that means is that photo is just on your device and hasn't been added to the google photos app so if you want to add them or back them up what you'll do is on the top right corner there's an ellipse or those three little dots You'll tap there and then choose select photos. And then you are given the option to upload photos. Let's go ahead and choose like these three right here. Then tap on the plus button there. And then you can create an album of those photos. In essence, creating a backup of those photos. So I'm gonna choose album there and just call this a sample and click done. Hit the checkbox. So now these photos have been backed up. So if I scroll through, you'll see that the photo there is now added to my albums. So let me go to my albums. There are the three photos. So now I can go ahead and head on over to my native photo app and delete those photos. Again, freeing up some space on my mobile device. Now, if you are using an iOS device, like an iPhone, you can always back up your photos, save them to the iCloud. Granted, it depends how much space you have. You have a certain amount that's free, but once you use it up, you're gonna have to bump up your storage plan. And at this point, I'm gonna look right here on my phone. It's 99 cents a month for 50 gigabytes. 200 gigabytes is 299. And then if you have like a ton, a ton of pictures uh, and video, two terabytes for 10 bucks a month. Um, that's what it costs you for additional iCloud space. As I mentioned earlier, I am not getting any money from any of these companies that I've mentioned. These are ones that I've been using, so I'm sharing with you uh, different ones that uh, you may want to check out to free up some space on your mobile phone and also uh, ways to stay digitally organized with your photos and videos on your phones. So what do you do to stay digitally organized on your mobile phone? 
please do share by adding to the comments in the section below. If you found any of this helpful or learned something new, please do give it a two thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. Also, if you haven't done so, do subscribe to the channel by clicking on this circle. I think it's right here, somewhere here. Just find the subscribe circle. Uh, we really appreciate it. And don't forget to set the notifications. Thanks again for stopping by. I will see you the next time. Peace. I'm out of here.